Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through the process of calling a Java method from a jar file uh, in Dataweave. Um, there is documentation out there today that walks you through the process of calling a Java method um, that's inside a class that you add directly to your Java project. Um, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add a jar file uh, directly to your project and then reference that within Dataweave. Uh, this is going to be running on AnyPoint Studio 7.5.1 and Mule uh, Enterprise Edition 4.3.0. So starting out in Studio, um, for the purposes of this video, I've gone ahead and created a simple Java project um, called Hello Mule. And this is the project that I'm going to go ahead and include into my Mule application and then call from Dataweave. So you can see in here, um, I'm just going to call this simple function here. So you pass in a string. It returns a string and then appends an integer to that string as well and then returns that back in the response okay so i've gone ahead and i've exported this project um, it is sitting in um, uh, one of my directories here uh, hello mule and then over in studio uh, going back to studio what we're going to do is up here in the nav bar there is a button here called install artifact into local repository. So what we do with this jar file is actually add it to your local Maven repo. So um, for the file, let's go ahead and browse and choose that jar file. And then it populates the artifact ID. Let's go ahead and fill in the group ID. So let's go ahead and call that com.gym and then also give it a version number. So let's go ahead and call it version 1.4 and then click on install. So it's gone ahead and it successfully installed that into my local repo. If we jump over to my local repo here, um, .m2 repo com to gym, you can see that that jar file is now added in here, version 1.4 of it, okay? So switching back over to AnyPoint Studio, within my Mule project that I'm gonna go ahead and call from Dataweave, you can see here, very simple flow. It's got an HTTP listener listening on port 881, and the path is just forward slash. And then the data weave component, it's gonna return currently uh, the data in JSON, and it's got uh, A, the, the key, and then the value of one. So what we're gonna do is add in a, uh, a reference to that uh, Java method um, and call that from data weave. So let me go ahead and minimize this in the package explorer. Okay, so once we've added that jar file to our Maven repo, what we need to do is now add that uh, jar file to our POM. So uh, within our project, if you open up the POM.xml file, what we're gonna go ahead and do is paste in or, or, or add in a dependency. So within your POM file, if you scroll down to the dependency section here, and I've gone ahead and just copied um, the dependency I'm going to add in here, but essentially you add in a new dependency, you give it the group ID, which was com.togym, the artifact name, and then let's go ahead and make this um, the correct version, so 1.4. So uh, once we click on save, you can see that within your project, it adds a new section here called project libraries, and then it adds that reference to that jar file, okay? So let's go ahead and close the pom.xml file, um, jump back over here, to the, the meal flow, what we're gonna do now is actually import that reference to that Java object. So um, up here after the DW2.0, we're gonna go ahead and do an import. And there's two ways to do this. You can import the entire um, Java class. So we can do com the gym hello mule. And then within your flow or within the data weave script, we can also now do a reference to that uh, function. So down here, we can say, um, hello mule, and then the name of the function, hello who, oops, who, and then we're gonna pass in a string. So let's say max, okay? So if we click on preview, you can see that it return it, it passes that string to the Java function and then returns that string with the random uh, integer attached to it or appended to it. Okay, and then the other way to do this uh, within Data Weave is actually do a reference directly to the function. So if we do um, or or just say all right, so we can say all 
from Java dot or Java com the gym hello mule, we can take away this reference to that class name and just have it reference the hello who. Right? You can see it, it goes ahead and makes the call, passes the string, this time it returns a different integer. And then the of course the, the last option here um, is to go ahead and also say um, hello who from java.com. So same idea. You can either reference all the functions or you can reference a specific function directly from that jar file and then use that in your data weave script. Okay. So with that, let's go ahead and just run this real quick and see that in action. We're going to save that, run it. Okay. And then once it's deployed, Let's go ahead and bring in a browser window here. We'll go to localhost 881, make that call, and you can see that it's calling the jar file, uh, the Java function, and, and referencing that within DataWeave now, okay? Um, hopefully that gave you a good example of how to call a uh, uh, Java method uh, in a jar file from DataWeave. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to leave it down below. Uh, have a great day.